So I've put myself to the challenge. For the next nine days that I have the Shadow installation, the only computer I'm allowed to use is the Shadow computer. It's a... You guys can hear that? Okay, good. So what we're going to be doing today is called Shadow PC. Now, I've already got it running. I've got a couple things already set up on it. Uh, if you don't want to watch the entire video, all I'm going to say is pretty good. If you have good internet at your house, you should get it. So, oh. <laughs> okay. So it will start like this, and it won't be full screen. You see up here. Oh, go away. Go, go away. Quick menu. And then you go down to enter full screen and up the bandwidth to whatever you feel like you should go to. I personally go to 50. And turn that on. So, now, this will go away eventually, is, this is Shadow PC. This is the computer. So, this is the Wisconsin one. So, this is kind of how this set up. And now, as you can see, I've already been... I've been excited by this because I just want to show you this like this is like th this is no joke so they have a so it's a it's one gig down and 100 up to every single technically virtual machine because if you go here and click here it is it is it is a virtual machine is it really a virtual machine though? When it has this kind of internet, is it really a virtual machine? Anyways, this is the connection you'll get applauded, which is very fast. So, as you see how fast that is, we're getting close. So, I do have a couple games on here. I do have Steam installed. So, I think I'm going to do is get a good game. So, PUBG. Actually, let's do CSGO and we'll install it on this machine. And we'll just. Just, uh, we'll let it, uh, do, let's let it create some files here. You also get a 256 gig SSD, which you can upgrade, I believe. If you need more storage, if it could manage downloads. Um, yeah. It's pretty quick. Like, we're, like, maxing out Steam. Because it's, it's very, you can't download stuff much faster than, like, gigabit. Now, we're going to go even quicker. We're going to get a real game. So, I'm going to go ahead and get Origin on this computer. And just to show you just how fast this internet is, watch how fast this downloads. So, if I go to, how do you download Origin? <laughs> what? I want to... So you get here. So you want to download the Windows one. That was a 60 megabyte file and it's done. It's done. So the cursor you were seeing is actually not the cursor on my computer. It's the cursor on the remote computer. It's like pretty good. As you can see, this is downloading in the background. Like, this is no freaking joke. Like, you can see here, even on like test if I go and open it up, you can see we're downloading stuff at crazy this is the origin I think for Mr. Ritz, which you have on this computer obviously see how long CSGO takes and this is like done already like, it's, it's already I couldn't even get to the thing quick enough to see it downloading that's how fast these download like it's insane so we're installing the latest version of origin Hand me on Steam if you like. It's gonna go play. Oh, it's already installed. Uh, damn. It's gonna launch, isn't it? Let's just say this is the Shadow PC here. I'll show you. The Xeon, 12 gigs of RAM, this Quadro. Ooh, there's my email. Oh no, if only you guys get a hold of it. Email me if you like. I've got about 10 billion emails on my account. And I never check it. So what I'm going to do is uninstall the game. <laughs> yeah, I want to get rid of it. 
and uh, say, oh, I want to download it again because I want the game again. Well, it's only going to take you three minutes. Look at that thing go. <laughs> oh my god. 97 megabits per second. 102. 103. 104. Look at that. One gigabits per second. This is a 10 gigabit link, so if I head over to network status and I have to change adapter options, you can see here. 10 gigabits, the Red Hat Linux um, KVM, is what, which is what Shadow uses to run their virtual machines. That's why it's the Red Hat thing. You'll see here, 117 is what we're uh, like peaking at here, 117. It's like it's like easily able to pull down the like max throughput and it's done. So well it's at the point where it's playable. This step here takes about a minute and twenty. This step here actually takes longer to do than it did to download to forty percent or thirty nine. Isn't that insane? That's insane to me. I don't I don't understand how they can actually like do that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a <laughs> Discord ping as well. So this is on on my Discord server. Uh, we are on US Central. And if I join you can see look at that 0 ms. <laughs> like a what 1 more millisecond. It's crazy. I don't understand like this ping is insane. And game pings like Fortnite gets 10 like I've seen it go to like five ping, but again, it's a stupidly good internet connection, so you would expect that. And you'll see here, this is probably taking longer to prepare to play than it has to download to 39. And you can like, sorry about the background noise, is that you can actually download the game. Like, say you don't like it. So you're like, oh, Apex Legends is so cool, and well, I want to play it like right now. You can literally play it like in the same, like within like 10 minutes. It only wants four more minutes to download the entire game, and you'll see the speed start to rise. And it doesn't go as fast as it did before, but it still goes pretty quick. I mean, 768 is what we saw there for a second. A10. I have the uh, test match to test match set to refresh like super fast. So it's already halfway done. I guess sometimes I think, can you imagine? Fortnite isn't as fast as the Origin downloads are. The Origin downloads tend to go quicker. Weird. I don't know. I've yet to have any troubles with this internet connection. If you find anything, you start to max out the SSD before you max out the um, internet connection. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. So it's downloaded 9.9 .9 gigs of stuff, which is like insane for a game download. And I don't know. Do I recommend Shadow? The main the main point about Shadow is for people that don't want gaming PCs or don't want to buy, pay up front like fifteen hundred to a thousand dollars, or even up, even up to two thousand for a gaming PC if they're only gonna play one game a month or whatever a couple games a month and they don't want to bother shadow is $35 a month $10 for a 10 day trial thing so you can test it out see if your internet can handle it and it's like $9 or something that's personally what I have here now I have a gaming PC that I'm on right now but I figured I'd sign up for shadow just to test it and I took my MacBook which is an older MacBook it's like a 2014 MacBook Air and using my phone's 4G LTE connection, was able to use Shadow. Not too bad, but that depends on your carrier and the location of your 4G signal and what, how many like DPM you have. So, can you use Shadow on 4G LTE? Yes. Would I recommend that? No. If you have good home internet, yes. Give it a shot. But if you have satellite internet, don't try it. Because it won't, trust me, it won't work. 
once I was gaming on it, I was gaming a couple hours tonight, or for a couple hours last night with my friends, and I couldn't, after like an hour and a half, I couldn't tell the difference between this and my main computer. Literally couldn't tell the difference. And I don't even have like three ping to shadow. I will show you what it is. So if you open up the shadow control panel, you can go here to the stats. It takes a minute to come up, but it'll come eventually. Then you can see here your images per second, your bit rate, and your ping in Apex is done. And so my ping is 20, 23 milliseconds and a bit rate of 1.1 megabits per second. So eight images per second. But if you start moving things, you'll see if we're going up to 73, which is what my monitor's refresh rate is. Uh, in theory, it could go higher. So everything works pretty good. And Apex is done. It's gonna be like we can play this. Like it's already done downloading everything. Isn't that isn't that awesome? So I'm not even sure how to even test this. So I went ahead and went to test files, right? So this would be like downloading a game. Like if you were to go and say, I want a, I'm going to download a 10 gigabyte game. As you see, I'm going to max this server out. It maxes around around 25 to 30 megabits a second. As you can see, fully maxed out is going to be faster because it, it, it can't handle more bandwidth than you're giving it. Like, this is absolutely insane. This is to Netflix. 1.2 gigabits per second. 1.5 gigabits a second. Like, that number in itself, 1.7, is absolutely insane. Like, I have never seen stuff go that fast. Like... I've just never seen that. It's just it's bizarre to me how Shadow's doing this. And I, I really want to learn more about it. So I've put myself to the challenge. For the next nine days that I have the Shadow installation, the only computer I'm allowed to use is the Shadow computer. So stay tuned. I'll put the link in the description once it comes out. But um, the introduction to Shadow is it's really flipping cool. And... If you have 10 bucks and you have good internet, give it a shot. Honestly, I'm saying that, like, truthfully, give this a shot. Give it a run, because this could easily be your next gaming PC. I can see it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys within two weeks.